This is my first ever YouTube video, so please bear with me. I did not want to do this video, like I really didn't like, but but Jesus just had a calling on my name to do this video. He just keep calling me and calling me to do this video. And I really didn't want to do this video because I'm the type of person, I don't like putting myself out there. Like I don't like putting my business on the camera. I don't like being vulnerable, you know. But um, I had two rapture dreams, not one, but two. Some people, they just have one, but I had two. And I'm going to tell y'all later on in the video why I think I had two of them instead of just one. Um, So I'm going to just get right into it. And um, But before I get right into it, everything I say in this video is not a lie. Like, I'm a God-fearing person. I believe in God. I love God. You know, so everything I say in this video is 100% the truth. I'm not making up anything that I said in this video. So, in my first dream, I was standing in this room in this house. And in this room, in front of me was a big glass, like a big purple, black kind of tinted glass in front of me. And I could see directly outside. And um, I heard this loud noise, like beautiful loud noise. It wasn't no scary, terrifying noise. It was beautiful and when I heard this noise I shifted outside and when I shifted outside a bunch of people was just surrounding me and the next thing you know it was angels on top of horses they had angels to the left angels to the right and there was Jesus in the middle now in my dreams in both of my dreams 100% the truth I never saw how Jesus physically looked like I can't give y'all a description I can't tell if he had a beard or anything like I can't. I told my pastor about these dreams and he said the reason why you never seen, you know, physically seen how Jesus look is because Jesus is a spirit. And it made sense because I definitely felt his presence like in my dreams. Like he was definitely there. That was definitely him in the middle on top of horse. I saw the horses. It was definitely him. Like I saw the horses. It's, 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 it was random. It was just normal horses. But the only thing I can remember is that the horses had red, like something red tied around their neck. Like... I don't know. It was like a red cloth or something tied around their neck. And the, and the angels, they had on white. They had on nothing but white. Nothing but white. And they looked like normal people. They looked like normal. They looked like me and you. But, they, but, but their clothes was just so beautiful. Like, it was beautiful. But like I said, I never seen how Jesus looked. But he was there. That was definitely him in my dream. Like, that was definitely him. Um. So like I said, it was this loud noise. And I shifted outside. And a bunch of people just was surrounding. Just we was just it was just a bunch of people, and we were just surrounding each other. And when we heard this loud noise, it grabbed our attention, and we looked up. Like there was nothing you could do once you hear this noise. There's like nothing you can do. You can't look this way. You can't look that way. You can't confine the next person. You know how if you ever been around somebody, you ever been standing next to a person, and somebody else does something crazy. And you look to the next person like, did that person really do that? Like, did that really just happen? You can't do that. When you hear this noise, there's nothing you can do. You have no control over your body. Like, only thing you're going to be able to do is look up. And I tell y'all, it happens so quickly. Like, once you hear this noise and, 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 and you see the angels and Jesus, and you see the angels and Jesus, he just start picking people up. Like, he don't speak to you. He don't say hi. He don't say, he don't nothing. He just start picking. He just started picking people up in my dream. And I got left. I got left. And when he picked these people up, their clothes was left. But they was gone. Like, but their clothes was on the ground. Like, everybody's clothes was on the ground. Weird. But I got, I got left. And when I tell y'all, that feeling of getting left. It's no joke. Like, that feeling is the most terrifying feeling you can ever feel in your life. That's the most terrifying feeling I ever felt. Like, I done felt plenty of things. Like, I done felt being in love. I done felt being happy, being sad. All these things. But nothing, but nothing compared to that feeling of being left. It's like a feeling of being confused, being scared, being lost. All mixed in one. And when Jesus picked everybody up and he left me... Some other people, they got left too. And when I tell y'all, it was silent. Now, you can drop a pin. Just imagine dropping a pin on the ground. 
and, and, and you can hear the pin. Like, like it was silent. Like, nobody was saying anything. Like, we we wasn't worrying about each other. We, none of that. Like, nobody was doing anything or saying anything. It was silent. And people were just standing there, like, like, terrified. Like, like. Like they didn't have to say anything, but you can you can see that they was terrified, like just just lost, like just just out of it. Like that feeling, I'm begging y'all to repent. I'm begging y'all to change your life around. Cause that feeling of being left is no joke. You do not want to feel that feeling. And I felt that in both of my dreams. I felt the feeling in both of my dreams. That feeling is so real. I'm telling you, all the feelings that you ever had in your life, nothing gonna compare to that feeling of being left. You do not want to be left. I'm telling y'all that feeling. And in my first dream, the dream went on, and it kind of showed me what happens after you get um after you get left. And after you get left, like after we was just standing there being silent. After that, for a while, everybody just started going crazy. Like, they started killing each other. Every stuff started burning. Everything started to turn red. I'm telling y'all, it's like, it's like, it's like, it wasn't even the world anymore. This, like, the ground wasn't even there anymore. Like, like, it was, everything was red. People running from each other. People trying to run in the house, this and that. Like, we trying to hide. We trying to get weapons. All this, like, trying to kill each other. Trying to plot against each other. Like, we were just going crazy. Like, it was crazy. People, like, I'm telling you, people were trying to hide in a house. People had weapons. Every time you went in somebody's house, there was somebody else in the house that's trying to kill you. Like, you, there was no way you could run, no way you could hide. Like, people was just going crazy. And it was red. Like, like, how can I explain this? Like, I'm trying to explain this. This picture, like, this picture, like, the whole world is coming out of the ground. Like just picture the whole world just coming out of the ground. It's just like it's just it's just like the whole world is just coming out of the ground. Like there's like there's no like there's no like if you there's like if you walk off the sidewalk, you could basically walk off. Like in my dream, you could have basically walked off and fell into nothing. It was nothing down there. Like it was nothing. Like but the like I can't explain it. But people was just going crazy. I'm telling y'all, like it was it was no joke at all. Like. It was going crazy. And it was plenty of us left behind. I mean, it was, it was, I, I can say when we were surrounded, when I was, when I, when, when I was outside surrounded by all of, all of those people, when we was all surrounded by each other, it's only a few people that I picked up. It was only a few. And it was plenty of us left behind. Plenty. That's because a lot of people, they don't believe. They don't repent. <laughs> It was plenty of us, and it was crazy. It was red, like, 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 the sky wasn't even blue. Like, like, when that dream happened, it was during the daytime, like, in the evening, kind of. So, the clouds, so the sky was still, it was still daytime. But once Jesus left, it's like everything just turned dark and red. Like, it still had light, but, like, the redness was the light. Like, and people just start going crazy. And, like, whew. Excuse me. That ain't no joke. And I know I keep saying life a million times, but forgive me for that. That's just how I talk. I don't know. But um, in my second dream, well, prior to these dreams, I'm going to let y'all in on a little fun fact. Prior to these dreams, I did not have no knowledge about God, no knowledge about Jesus. Like, I didn't know about the rapture. I didn't know about him returning. I didn't know anything, but when I woke up out these dreams, I knew everything. Like I knew, I knew why the angels was there. I knew about the sounds. Like I knew everything, but prior to that, I didn't know nothing. Like you, you, you could have walked up to me and be like, you know, that Jesus returning and this and that. And I would look at you like, huh? What you talking about? But when I woke up at these dreams, it's like, I knew, I knew everything. I knew what everything meant in my dream. That's crazy. But in the second dream, <sighs> the only difference was from the first and the second dream was the locations. When Jesus says in the Bible, when God tells you <laughs> that Jesus is going to return when you least expect it, 
I am a firm believer of that saying, of that. I'm a firm believer. I'm telling y'all, that is 100% true. You better believe that. When you least suspect that he's going to return. Because me and my mom, we let to shop at Walmart. And we was going into Walmart, like, and we was just going on with our daily life. Like, you know, we wasn't expecting nothing to happen. And we was um, just walking into Walmart. And mind you, as we were walking into Walmart, there's nobody in the parking lot. It's just me and my mom in the parking lot. Like, there's cars in the parking lot, but there's nobody else. Like, there's not people. People wasn't in the parking lot. So we we walking into Walmart. We didn't even get in the door. In my first dream, Jesus came to my right. He came from this way. In my second dream, he came to my left. Like, he came to my left. So before we could get in the door, we heard this loud noise. Once again, the same noise. Beautiful noise. Like one of the most beautiful noise you could ever hear in your life. It was so beautiful. It wasn't nothing to be scared of. It was beautiful. And um, same thing happened. Like, there was nobody in the parking lot, but as soon as we hear this noise, here come Jesus and his angels once again, and people just out of nowhere disappeared. Like, people, normal people like me and you just appeared out of nowhere. You know, and Jesus' angels was to his left, to his right, and he was in the middle once again. I, I, I didn't see how he looked. I can't tell y'all. I wish I could tell y'all how Jesus looked. I wish I knew for myself how he, how he actually looked. You know, I just wish, you know, but... His presence was there. He was definitely him in the middle. I don't know how I can, how, I know that sounds crazy, but it was him in the middle on that horse. On one of them horses, it was him and his angels. It was him. And I guess it's for a reason. I never really seen how he looked. I guess it's for a reason. But it is what it is. But um, you hear this loud noise. I heard this loud noise. Walking into Walmart, I didn't make it in the door. I heard this loud noise, this loud noise. Everybody, people, people just appear out of nowhere, and this loud noise got everybody's attention, and everybody just looking up, like we just looking up, like we ain't we ain't worrying about we we ain't we ain't got like our mind like it's like our mind like your mind stops like everything stops like time stops the world stops people stop like you don't you're not having no thoughts or nothing you just looking up and Jesus just started picking people up once again and their clothes got left but they left you know their clothes got left but their body left and I got left once again again my, me and my mom got left like I told y'all in my first dream well, I didn't tell y'all this, but um, how can I explain this? The reason why I had two dreams is because in my first dream, I didn't pay any mind to the first dream. Like it didn't phase me. It, I didn't really care. Like I didn't, I didn't know. Like I didn't, like I wasn't scared. Like it didn't wake me up. Like it didn't, it didn't frighten me or none of that. But that second dream, I woke up and I'm sitting in my room. And you ever just woke up out your sleep and, and you ever had a dream and, and it made you wake up out your sleep like and you looking around like where you at like did this dream really happen like did I just did it did I just really have this dream it was that type of situation I woke up out my sleep I'm sitting in my bed and I'm just looking and I'm just thinking about that dream I just had and when it came to me that I really had that dream and and it, and it all hit me at once like this ain't just no dream like this this is real like it felt so real the second time it felt so real. Like, and I ran, like, I woke up out of my sleep, and I stood there, and I thought about it, and then I ran in the front room to my mom, crying my eyes out, because that's how afraid I was, crying my eyes out, and my mom was like, what's wrong, what's wrong, what, what's wrong, I was like, mom, I had this dream, and in this dream, we did not get picked up, me and you, we did not get picked up, I was like, we gotta change our life around, like, we gotta, we just gotta change our life around. And y'all, in that second dream, like I said, I had that same feeling of being left. It's a feeling you don't want to feel. I'm telling you. Excuse me. You do not want to feel that feeling. Like that feeling ain't no joke. Please listen to me. Please. That feeling of being left. 
As humans, we hate when stuff is out of our control. We hate when we can't, when something happened and we can't fix it or change it. We hate that we can't go back in the past. As humans, we dwell on the past. You going when Jesus leave you, that all that is gonna hit you. You gonna start dwelling. You gonna start. You gonna start being like, man, like I can't. Like you, you, you gonna know. Like you gonna have this feeling of, there's nothing I can do. Like at that point, you gonna have this feeling like, like. I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. But there's nothing I can. But at that time, there ain't nothing you're going to be able to do. Nothing. And in my second dream, it didn't continue. It didn't show me what happened after I got left. It, I just woke up after um after Jesus picked the people up. I just woke up. <sighs> and it took everything in me to tell y'all these these. These dreams. And this is just real. Like, Jesus is real. He is real, guys. And he is coming back. Sooner than we can probably think. Y'all, and God. God is just so amazing. God is just so amazing. You know? And they got a lot of people out here. They read the Bible, but they criticize the Bible. They uh they talk about the Bible. They, they make fun of the Bible. You know, some people out here, they be like, well, if God is real, then why he ain't killing us like he killed those people in the Bible? Like, you know, you know how how God, when people were sinning in the Bible, God would just strike them and kill them right away? The only reason why that's not happening to us, the only reason why when we sin, we getting spared, and Jesus and God ain't just striking us and killing us and punishing us right then and there. I'm going to tell you one word, Jesus. We are covered by Jesus. We are covered by his blood. Like God, God made that perfect sacrifice to give us his only son. So we can have time to repent. That's why Jesus died for us. So, so we can have time to repent. That's the only reason why God ain't, God is, God ain't nothing to play with. I'm telling y'all, God ain't no joke. My God loves and he cares and stuff like that. And he forgives. But my God also punish and disciplines. And people don't understand that. They keep taking God. Um, kindness for weakness. Like they really is out here taking this kindness for weakness. People out here. They out here sinning. And they saying to themselves. Well. God forgive me. Oh well. And they move on. And they stop sinning for a little while. Then they go back and sin again. <laughs> my God is nothing to play with. I'm telling y'all, my God, my God, who my God is powerful. Don't you know my God can turn your house upside down right now? My God can do anything he want to do. My God can make you fly in the sky if you wanted to right now. Like, my God ain't nothing to play with. And the only reason why he, he been gentle and kind on us is because we're covered by Jesus. Y'all better get down on your knees and thank Jesus. Love Jesus. Praise Jesus. Understand, y'all got to respect God, respect his mind, respect how he operates. Like, God, God is holy. Understand that. God can't have sinners and people that's lying and stealing and killing next to him because God is not familiar with that. God is very holy. God is, God doesn't lie. He doesn't steal. He doesn't kill. He doesn't, he doesn't hurt. He doesn't judge. Y'all got to understand that. I got to respect how he operate. And we're made in God's image. So just think about this. God made us in his image. We have the same abilities he have. We're just like God. We don't like certain people being around us. We don't like negative energy. We don't like people that rob and steal and kill and rape and all that. We don't like that. God doesn't like that. But the only difference is we're doing the stuff that God doesn't like. We're made in his image. We have all the abilities he has. You know what I'm saying? You can rap, you can sing, you can act. God can sing, rap, act, do all those things too. We're made in his image. It tells you that in the Bible, in the beginning. We're made in his image. We're made in the image of him. We can do everything that God can do. I mean, we don't have the power. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We not, God is the most powerful, is, you know, man on this earth. Like God is powerful. God is very powerful. We don't, we, we, we don't have that. We don't have power. You know what I'm saying? But we we have abilities. We're made in God's image. Y'all just gotta respect God. Stop taking him for, you know, stop taking his kindness for weakness. Stop playing with my God. Just stop. 
You just people just don't understand. Like God is the reason why you're still breathing. God saved you from so many things that you can't even see. So many things God saved you from. And you sitting here, you 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 taking advantage of him. And I tell y'all like this. You know, I respect the process that I got to go through to get to heaven. Because I know that heaven is set up the way it's set up for a reason. You know, you know, let me ask y'all a question. If you knew that heaven was just like earth, they had sinners, killers, um, rapists up there. You wouldn't want to get to heaven, would you? I sure wouldn't want to go to heaven if they had the same thing that they have on earth. You know what I'm saying? God God can't have that up there. That's why heaven is set up the way it is. That's why heaven is so holy. It's so peaceful. It's so love and joy and all that. You know? Because God can't. He can't have that up there. He can't have sinners and, and stuff up there. You know, he can't have people that don't respect him. Don't believe in him. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame him. I respect that 100%. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want nobody around me that's, that's, that's doing all those things. Tell y'all, respect God, believe in, believe in Jesus, repent, change your life around. Jesus is real. He is so real. Oh, man, I'm begging y'all, please just repent. Please change your life around. Please give your life to Jesus. Please give your life to God. He will change your life around. But that's all I got to say, guys.